Hello there, my YouTube friends. I don't know how many is are like me in that when it comes to these Perta characters, you're not sure whether the classic Perta is the original Perta or we've got the actual original Predator on your left hand side here. You know, what is the difference between them? Is there a difference? Were they made differently? Let's find out, guys. I've got them both here. I'm going to open them both. We're going to have a look at the pair of them together. First off, we can see is the size difference in the box. Or does that equate to the size difference in the character? I don't know. But let's get these opened up, do a side by side comparison so we can see is there differences and what those differences are, guys. Anyway, let's get it on. Let's get this done. Like I say, the first difference, as you can see, is the size of the box and the design of the boxes. Both of them are movie masterpieces. Both of them by Hot Toys. Yeah, this one, the box itself has a plastic outskirt thing to it that lift off. But as you can see, it has like a beautiful sort of thing going around it to make it stand out and, and give it some sort of feel to it, with Predator written on the bottom. Yeah, yeah. Other difference is this one have a thing where it'll open up from the front and you can already see the character in there this one obviously by the looks of it may not have but let's get this one lifted off and see with this one as well and this one has the same idea same principle and there we go that's that one there how much difference it is between them Honestly, goodness, still at this present moment in time, I honestly don't know. The look from here, fairly similar. But let's get them out, show you what you get with them, and see what differences there actually are, guys. Okay, guys, so here you've got both sets. Of the accessories guys on the right hand side here this is all the stuff you get with the classic left hand obviously it's all the stuff you get with the original Predator and straight away you can see there if you're looking you're getting sets of hands or just a couple of hands on this one we seem to have no hands at all with this one so you're stuck with the hands he has in him or on him for the hands you're going to get with that one which won't grip onto anything they're literally like a closed fist which is a bit of a shame but that's what you're getting with that one the diorama piece here or the stand that you get with it is pretty damn good i'm impressed with that that is that is a really nice one this one not quite as nice but still again a nice little touch to put in there rather than having a plain stand hunter stand on this one yeah does have the obligatory crotch grabber in case it won't stand up on the base itself on its own the other one even though there seems to be a place for a crotch grabber there is no crotch grabber now i did get these on the second hand market so there is going to be a few things possibly broken or missing or what have you um that, that will come across as i'm doing the review but i must say though i did not see a place for a crotch grabber to go on this one so if there was one in there originally then hey, it's missing, but the fact is, I didn't see a place where a crotch grabber could have went in the actual box itself, so you also have here this piece, which I think is really a nice touch you know, because he did rip somebody's spine and skull out in the movie, in the original movie, so I think that's a damn good touch to have in there both sides do have the masks there as you can see the other side has two one of them is actually battle damaged the other one is sort of in, in perfect nick but we're gonna have a closer look at the pair of them together to see what the differences are in those in a moment like i say these ones are the only ones that come with the hands actually already having the spare pegs in this the other one obviously doesn't have the pegs at all
you know, I just think that is pretty good. Lots of detail on there. And as you can see with this one, this one does come with the actual extra hands, which will try to get me a bit closer. Just two seconds. So we can see here. This is one of the hands. Again, great amount of details to them. And the fact that they actually already come with the peg in is spot on. All of them come with the peg in. You only haven't seen to have one. Excuse the noise, that's the puppy just starting to settle down. You only have one left hand in the fist, and obviously one left hand on them. And two spare right hands, one of them a fist. And one of them open handed. Both sets do come with extra mandibles. I don't know how well you can see that. Turn the brains down on there. In there. So that's pretty cool that you get. You also get the mandibles on this one as well. Again, great details to them. There seems to be a slight difference there. Though, I must admit, I did have a look at this earlier on and tried to change these over and found that these ones here, which I did get in touch with the guy, are actually the wrong mandibles for the character. So, I got in touch with the lad to let him know because the chances are he's got another predator somewhere that will have the wrong set of mandibles for that. Um, I let him know, he said he was going to have a look. But that was good a couple of weeks ago, and I still haven't heard from him, so the chances are he's not even bothered to look, which is his look out at the end of the day. I tried to help him by saying, look, these are the wrong mandibles, I'd like to get the right mandibles if it's possible. Um, you know, plus, obviously, when you come to sell your next one, you're going to have the wrong set of mandibles in that one for the next person, so... But, like I say, he didn't bother getting in touch, so that's his thing you now. You have this, yeah, for the classic. Just going to slip onto his wrist. We also have a couple of these things, yeah, which actually go into the wrist. And I think, I do believe, if I'm not mistaken, can be lit up. That's why they've got like a clear blue plastic to them. And they are just bits of plastic, so you know to be careful that some of these things don't snap off if you're not too careful because I'm pretty quite a rough handed bugger. And then we have this one, which is like the globe, it can light up, which is kind of cool. Helmets wise, you see here, I'll get the two that's pretty similar to each other. You can see here. Helmets wise, they are an extremely similar style, bar the odd. I think in the slight colouring difference in them. But again, that could just be sort of the battle damaged area of it, you know. Other than that, they are quite similar looking. So they have a very similar style to them. Both of them, again, have wires in them, so they can be linked to it in order to light up these bits here yeah, they are supposed to light up so that would be kind of cool I don't know whether the batteries are already in them or not I, have, I do not know because like I see I got them on the second hand market and of course you have this one which is the small battle damaged version of it but again it does have the wire to light up this part so I think that's kind of nice kind of cool and obviously they've got in the back of this one they've got already the mandibles there in order to place it against the character which I'm hoping it'll fit because like I see I've never really tried that part of it so you know I just tried the mandibles out so there you go guys that is what you're getting with the, the pair of them so it's basically very much different sets of 
accessories to them but the, the actual sort of helmet bit are very very similar bar the odd little marking here and there so there you go guys that is the accessories wise now let's get the two characters together and see what the differences are in these two characters how can you tell i'm a noob <laughs> i had the actual sort of i don't know what you would class this but as a pelt in the wrong way around back to front so it would look a bit silly to most people because it wasn't fitting in. i was wondering why it wasn't fitting in properly but i've now managed to work it out so there you go guys that's that's how it's meant to look okay <laughs> just stupid me i did it in the wrong way around and not a lot of a lot of were probably freaking shouting that down your screen i just saying you've got it the wrong way around your billick there you go guys i did work using that i've got it right way around now on to looking at the two characters so guys the side by side comparison here <clears throat> this is where you can tell sort of a lot more of the differences but mainly in paintwork size wise like height wise they're pretty very similar body wise there is a bit of a difference in them but again that is due to the difference in the way they were made and you know, not so much in sort of structure wise just the way they were made you know for articulation purposes and stuff like that you got on this side this one here across this thing the body has been broken in half or made in two different halves in order to get a bit more ab crunch to it than what this guy is this guy's one piece all the way through you've got the joints if you look at the joints in the arm here these are the unsightly style joints that i've never really been a big fan of but you do get a lot of motion with them that they can be bent quite away but they're not these are my sort of favorite ones for a look because if you look at it you can still you can see the mail off there how much it stands out compared to this guy's one yeah where it, it's barely noticeable you know due to the nice paint work and that but you still have a very similar sort of articulation which we'll have a look at in a moment and the other difference is all these bits here have been made of plastic on the original but on this one they're actually metal the die cast which is a heck of a difference you know it does sort of stand out in that respect levels of detail wise i would say they've got sort of similarities and slight differences in them whereas this arm here has a lot more detail in than this guy's arm here yeah the crotch wise they're both pretty much very similar belt wise it's only very slight differences and again and it's due to materials used more than anything else you know, this guy does happen to have the set of sort of bones around him that this guy doesn't have you know, and what that was from the movie i do realize that this one i think came from a different movie altogether but he seems to be very very similar to the original predator which i think that's why they've called him the classic predator because i think it's basically in all intents and purposes the same one there's a slight difference again the eyes on this one are red the eyes on this one are yellow i don't know what that's about if they're supposed to be the similar one again this one you can see how red inside of his mouth is compared to this one's more sort of natural pinky look which is how i would suppose it would probably look more like than this one this one looks a little bit uh too red even in this light yeah but i do like both of them i think both of them are lovely and both of them do suffer with the same issue that i've had with a couple of these pair of things and that's this neck brace so this one i've fixed it down properly but if you move his head up it'll lift up and leave a gap around the bottom and he's faffing up in this one you can actually see where i haven't messed on with it as much and you can see where it's raised off i need to tug it underneath there to get it more down but again as soon as you lift his head up a bit to sort of lift it as if he's gonna he's raising his head up to sh to to scream to holler type thing to roar then that's when it sort of lifts up and it becomes quite unsightly and i'm not keen on that bit of it you know i wish they'd had something that could be a little bit better done than that especially as you can't pop the heads off there is no interchangeable heads it is just the mandibles that interchange and you've got the, obviously the chance for to put on the the masks you know if you're asking which one i actually prefer i honestly couldn't for the fact that this one has the die cast part on that sort of stands out as being really good um this one here these sort of dagger bits that come out are plastic as well which isn't the best and they don't you can't take them out and interchange them which it would have been nice to be able to take them out and i would have put some die cast ones in 
and then this guy here he come with a broken one I don't know if you can see it there but there's actually this one at the back here is broken off and again I can't take them actually out so I'm going to end up having to buy a new wrist thing for him so I don't even know if I can get a hold of the classic predator's wrist god thing to have the things because these this one is die cast so in order to have snapped it it's got a really sort of fell quite hard in order to have snapped it you know but the rest of it wise I think is actually pretty damn close looking just I think it's literally just down to paintwork everything else is extremely similar you know his feet are slightly different but again it's just been made at a different time and on this guy yeah, the original. I think his sort of legs have more muscular detail in them. But would you really have noticed that in the actual movie itself? Paint wise, I do believe this guy's got the better the better paint up on it. You know, but again, that's how hot toys have improved over the period of time, you know, that they're getting better and better and better at doing these things. You know, if you'd ask us off the first glance, like which one would be the Hot Toys and which one do you think might be more of a sideshow piece then I would say hey this one would be more the sort of like the sideshow style piece this guy more your sort of your Hot Toys piece but they both got incredible detail to them you know both of them look really nice really really good and I'm gonna be well happy to have these two guys with the rest of my other predators you know maybe I'll put them keep them separate for a while but eventually, excuse me, they'll all be together and I'll have all of them there. I just wish this guy had these things that are in metal. I think I see, I'm not sure that these have that these have the actual batteries in them or not. I don't know. I'll have a I'll have a look at that in a moment and see how well they fit actually onto the the sculpts as well and see what they look like with that one. So I'll show you that in a moment, guys. So you can see guys, this one here doesn't actually have the batteries in it but I just checked well, that's what he looks like with his helmet on it was actually quite hard to get that helmet on you literally had to sort of shove it over the closed mandibles so you had to put his closed mandibles in and you had to literally shove it on there to get it to stay on you know I tried them with them on I tried them with them off I tried them with them on I tried them with them off I was going to do the hokey cokey and spin around to try and get it to work but you know, eventually I just had to shove it on push it into place which I'm not keen on because that to me means you could literally be doing damage to the actual bloody paint work on the actual closed mandibles you know so I'm not too happy about that but the chances are I'll not pose him with his helmet on anyway you know, especially as it hasn't got the batteries in and whether they work or not anyway I don't honestly know and I just don't think that looks that great with that on you know, I don't know about you this guy on the other hand, this one does work. As you can see, the light is actually on there now on him. And I think that looks kind of freaking cool. You can see his eye coming through that battle damage one. And that one does work. And that one actually has a switch on the back as well in order to make it work. Or, or switch it on or switch it off. So that's pretty cool because this one, I didn't see any switch for it at all. It just seemed to be if you plugged it in, by the wire that would be it coming on so it was good to see that this guy has a switch for to make it work and let's have a look at the other one see if the actual other one works or not well that guys i think these are looking really good and i think i'm gonna actually enjoy and i just want to show you quickly again in a moment the actual range of motion on a couple of these eight a couple of these uh arms and legs and see what they're like and as you can see again there guys that one works on his full mask that's pretty damn cool and that works as well so, spot on i don't know how well you're gonna make that out guys but that thing lights up as well i think you can maybe just about make out and like i said you had two of those different ones it's just a shame that this part here, you can't sort of spin it on his wrist at all. It seems to be pretty much stationary, so you have to try and ma manoeuvre and manipulate his arm to get in a position where 
it's it he's looking straight at it rather than looking down at an angle at it you know because there to me it doesn't look quite right it's not sitting quite right but you know i suppose if i mess on with it a bit more i can probably get it right but i think that's kind of cool that you've got that there too as well and what was good about it was actual bits of plastic that sort of stopped the batteries from actually working straight away you know you, now and again you, you'll see it with yourself but even so you've got to pull a little bit of plastic out in order for the batteries to make connection they were still in which i thought was kind of really good you know that i've got the with the with those still in on this one so it means the batteries were in there but they weren't actually being used at all they weren't being utilized at all because they had a bit of plastic in it so that was pretty damn cool but there you go guys that's that part of it and what you can see from this angle that with this one the classic all you're getting is a single bend because of the structure of the arm and there is no break in the bicep in order to get any sort of bicep twist on that one this one classic the original predator you can see you're getting a double bend because of the way he was made you know you get the double bend and you have got the break in the bicep to get a bit of swivel on it this one does have a little bit of wrist motion on it so you can bend the wrist slightly whereas this one doesn't have any all it has is a bit you, know, you can twist it there is no sort of across itself style action going on so there you go for the actual arms this one has the better articulation though it is damn sight more ugly from certain angles there from that angle there you can't really see it yeah it looks okay yes that's not so bad but if you look at it from the back let's just see if we can turn them around a slight bit it's just that's quite ugly ass to me but thankfully you don't really look at them from the back so you should be able to get away with that not too bad at all let's have a look at the leg and hip articulation on this guy so legs aren't going to come too far forward certainly aren't going to go very far back knee bend wise i'm trying to do this there you go not a huge amount you do have enough freedom in the ankles to get enough motion there in outward motion uh, you're not going to get much more than that there you go guys that's the classic predator's range of motion now let's have a look at this guy see what we can get with this one moving forward you can see it's a lot further moving back not quite as much but it's still probably better than the other guy the classic you're getting almost a double bend completely on there so that gives you a wide range of motion now and it's pretty much hidden any ugliness is hidden a little bit through the fact that he has this netting on you can still see it here you know and that's not really going to be able to disguise it too much unless you move his knee guard up and then there you go and it's sort of it's a little bit better hidden there so you can get a better range of pose and motions on that wrist the ankle wise he doesn't have a great deal though so it can twist in and out to help you and this one of course because of the chest break even though it has a chest break you don't have a great deal of range of motion in it at all you know but you do have more than what the other guy has got the shoulder wise this guy you can see can move quite away Yeah, you know, it's basically almost like 90 degrees. Move forward. Good way. Move back. Heck of a good way. And of course you do have the swivel there because of the brake. And where the bicep are. So you've got a damn good range of motion on the original. You know, damn good range of motion. This guy, as you can see, he doesn't raise up a heck of a lot compared to the other one. You know, it's, it's like you're not going to get the 90 degree range of motion. He has no brake 
in the biceps so you're not going to get any bicep and you can move forward a good range and back a good range but not out over you know so that's you see, on the whole if you're wanting something for posing and getting in good poses the original is going to outdo this guy tenfold yeah this guy is better in some respects because a lot of his stuff is die cast which makes a good bit of a difference whereas this guy's plastic this guy's come with more hands so that's a damn good thing in its place whereas this one comes as it is you know with new extra hands and of course for me the mandibles were the wrong mandibles so i can only ever have them with open mandibles if i'm going to have his helmet off but really with this one i might leave this with the helmet on and I've got one then with the look with the helmet on, one with the look with the helmet off because I don't like this one with the helmet on. I don't think the helmet looks great on them. Plus, I think you're risking sort of scratching the mandibles, the closed mandibles, which I'll probably end up exchanging anyway and putting the open mandibles in it. So, but there you go, guys. So, on the whole, they're damn, both damn good figures. If you're wanting one for posing, this guy has a lot better range of motion and you can sort of hide some of the ugliness in the, in the hands. Yeah, if you've got them down by side like that, you're not going to be able to disguise them. But if you've got them in a pose, you possibly could. This guy, in certain respects, can look better, but doesn't have the range of motion that this guy does. So there you go, guys. That's what I've got for you, you know. I'm happy with both of them. So what you've got to watch for guys when you're getting things second hand is I don't recall him mentioning when he saw it that this was broken or whether it's even meant to be like that whether it was like that in the film you know whether it, you had a broken sort of what well, I don't even know what you would call it but if that, that was broken in the movie or not I don't know but I'm, we'll have to try and maybe look out and see if I can pick up another one there which I think for this guy would be pretty damned hard to do you know and I'm pretty impressed with him the only other thing is again the pitfalls of buying them second hand was the other set of mandibles were the wrong mandibles it could have been a perfectly thingy excuse you know that he's just didn't realize he put the wrong ones in there or maybe he just put he, that was the only ones he had left available and wanted to make it look like it was a full set so he could sell it as a full set and get more for it i don't know i did get in touch with the guy he did see he was going to have a look whether he bothers his backside or not i doubt it but you never know maybe he's a genuine guy and maybe he has got the other set there and maybe you will get in touch with us though it's been a good few weeks and it hasn't happened yet that's why i'm doing this review now because i've waited long enough to give him the chance to send them through so i can do the review guys there you go these are the two characters i think they look absolutely brilliant i'm loving this predator series that i'm getting together you know I will try and get a hold of more over a period of time, but I'm just not willing to pay stupid prices. You know that, guys. I will not pay stupid prices for these things. I'm getting these fairly cheap. I'm very, very happy with what I've paid for them. It's just a shame the odd thing isn't working the way I would have liked it to. But God damn, they look good, man. They look good. So thanks very much for watching. I really do appreciate those that are spending the time in looking and watching these things and enjoying what I do. If you do, please put a like on it. If you didn't and you think it's crap what I'm doing, then hey, put a dislike on it. it. Yeah, it's one of those things. If you didn't like it, you didn't like it. Comment. You know, please comment. I will get back to you, as I always do. There's not many people are commenting. You know, I do ask for your input. I do ask, you know, when I've done these videos and I've said, hey, look, I've got 10 figures here. Which one would you like to still think first? I'm getting no response from you guys. So I'm end up just putting up what I want. You know, I'd rather you just tell us, look, yeah, I'd love you to. I'd love you to do this one first. I'd love you to do that one first, and then I'll do it. You know, if I can help you, I can do it that way. And guys, comment. I will comment back. Okay, I will. You need. You know, share if you'd like to share and help with this channel grow. Yeah, you know, I've got. A, I'm very happy. I've got a hundred, just over a hundred subscribers now. Though, I'm getting less than thirty people watching these things. So out of the hundred people that are supposedly liking what i do and have followed us i'm getting very few views guys you know if you're not liking what i do if you don't want to see what i'm putting up then don't follow us okay i would rather have on there just 20 or 30 subscribers that are continually wanting to watch what i put out there than have up there 100 200 300 subscribers and only having 20 30 40 views 
okay it just it, it's a waste of your time and it's a waste of my time i'm not one of these ones that wants to blow up the thingy and go oh i've got a thousand and one followers or i've got a hundred and odd followers because the amount of followers i've got makes no difference to me it's the amount of people that watch and enjoy that's what makes it worthwhile to me guys so yeah please like comment subscribe this is the bearded nerdy of sorry for that little rant at the end and i'm out of here guys enjoy so what I believe you were trying to say is thank you. Thank you? You're welcome. What? No, no, no. I, I didn't. I wasn't. Why would I ever <laughs> okay, say that? Okay. I mean... <laughs>